only a two-thirds vote of the House can change those defined boundaries of Belize. And so we say that the foreign minister derives the totality of his power from the Constitution, which he is sworn to uphold. The Belize Constitution explicitly defines the borders of Belize by virtue of the Constitution 71-1 and Schedule 3 along with the Constitution. The foreign minister is constitutionally bound to uphold the defined boundaries. And the Constitution provides that the method to alter the boundaries of Belize is by a two-thirds vote, majority vote of the House of Representatives only. So we say the special agreement is both illegal and procedurally, procedurally improper in that it gives the ICJ now, after referenda, if we vote yes, the power to alter the boundaries of Belize when such power is vested only in the legislature of Belize. The special agreement does not have the support of the two thirds of the House of Representatives in anticipating the alteration of Belize's boundaries. So we are asking the court to determine that the Minister of Foreign Affairs acted beyond his executive power when he signed that special agreement since it anticipates an egregious breach of the Constitution. And B, determine that the provision of Article 2 of the Special Agreement that requests the ICJ to determine the boundaries of Belize is contrary to public policy for threatening the boundaries of Belize which are enshrined in our Constitution. And C, determine that the Special Agreement to the extent that it requests the ICJ to determine our boundaries of Belize is null and void. Belizeans, we cannot allow our elected leaders, those we entrusted to uphold this sacred law, to abuse this law now, to usurp this law. And so we're calling on attorneys across the length and breadth of this country to put not us your money, but your experience, your expertise, your knowledge, where your heart is. Because we trust that your heart is for Belize. We need some attorneys now to lodge this, and I'm going to show you the document with the media at the end of this. They'll get a copy of the last draft, which we feel is now ready, to be presented to the Supreme Court. And we, in the peace movement, along with my brothers who are now here, are prepared to take this all the way to the CCJ.